My advice to new practice leaders would be really um, to engage in the process of that observation and coaching cycle and ensure that you're providing real time and adequate feedback on how to develop your team's skills because unless you're providing that feedback, you're just going to be getting the same sort of action over and over again. Prioritise be being present. It helps to build uh, relationships with your staff and for me, um, you know, the way that I lead is very much based on the relationships I have with my staff. If I'm constantly sitting in an office and I'm doing paperwork and um, you know, I'm not, I'm not interacting and building those relationships, then paperwork is what my staff will see as important. And while it has its place, um, it doesn't, that doesn't impact how we support our clients and their quality of life. What it takes to do practice leadership well is a lot of organisation and a lot of collaboration. It's important to say that things are well laid out, easily accessible for people to understand um, and knowing that you're approachable and knowing that people can come to you if they have any issues. Um, and also being constantly aware that everybody is developing and there's always things you can work on. Um, there's no resting point in a sense, so never feel as if you're done. I love being able to be present and be with my staff and uh, provide them with opportunities to be the best support workers that they can possibly be. It's the rewarding experience of being able to say that you've made an impact is the most important part.